In this video, we will cover the check constraint. Basically, in any particular column, when, where I want any value which is satisfying some specific condition should be entered, then I should go for the check constraint. For example, we have a column called gender in our table where I want only M or F, these two characters should be allowed. None of any character should be allowed in that particular column. Similarly, in the salary column, I don't want anything less than 5000 should be allowed. So such values can be uh, validated by using the check constraint. So let's start implementing the check constraint now. So let's see how can we start applying the check constraint by the time I am creating a table. So here I will again write a very simple uh, create table syntax like create table sample 4 may be the column uh, table name and after that inside the parenthesis I will start putting the list of the columns. So maybe call 1 is the name of my column inside which I am going to put some numeric values maybe maximum up to 10 digits. So right after this I want to check like whatever value a user is entering into this particular column that value should not be less than 10,000 amount means any particular value. So for that what I'll do again check const for check constraint constraint and constraint name which is always optional and recommended uh, sample 4 call 1 underscore check alright after that the constraint type check and inside this parenthesis you will have to specify the condition let's say I don't want value less than 10,000 so any value in the call 1 should be greater than or equal to 10,000 alright so as you can see I'm applying this constraint check constraint in the column level but still I have to specify this column name inside the constraint type earlier whenever we applied any constraint in the column level we did not need to pass the column name but since here I am putting a condition and for putting a successful condition you will have to specify both the things means the value and the column name so in the check constraint there will not be much difference of putting the constraint on the table level or on the column level so uh, let's uh, finish it up and let's see the table is created so similarly you can specify this particular constraint by the time of creation now since we have already one table called employees and let's say I want to apply a check constraint in this so what how can I do that for example I have a column called gender which is accepting a single character and I want that character should either be M or F so for that I will write alt table employees add constraint constraint name let's say emp underscore gender underscore check and then the constraint type that is the check and inside this what I'll do the column name that is gender in in is an operator which will accept a number of uh, values inside it so I want m or f should be there not anything else alright so uh, what it will do in operator will make sure like either this or this means whenever you want to compare multiple values in equality you can use this in operator so when I will say enter you see table altered and now by the time we will start entering the data in this particular table called employees you will notice like we cannot enter any value apart from this M or F in the gender column alright so this is about the check constraint